Hi Cancer, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Cancer, let's see how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And yes Cancer, these are general collective readings, will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers, welcome in newcomers, do join me to join us and subscribe to the channel we welcome you in all right so cancer newcomers i'm setting down two sets of cards here one side will be for you one side will be for your person and in the center i'm going to have your dialogue message cards mutual energies etc if this is your reading uh, cancer you'll know which side you resonate best with right for me this is going to be person a this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, page of wands. It seems somebody wants to talk. Somebody wants to send a message. One person has decided I'm not going to wait anymore. I've waited for too long. I'm making my own path. I'm choosing my own direction. Maybe they felt that their person was a cheat or a liar or ghosted them or did something that they shouldn't have. The other person's very, very heartbroken at the moment. In fact, they're feeling left behind. They're feeling the lack of person A in their life. They're feeling abandoned now. This person is going through a tower at the moment because I think person A has decided, I don't want this anymore. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to clarify these cards, of course. Uh, Cancer, let's start with your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then I'm going to clarify these cards. Cancer and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Cancer and their person. Cancer and their person. All right. Let's take a few more cancer from another deck. And if any of you looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Cancer and their person spirit. Cancer and their person. Okay, and let's take a few more Cancer from a third deck as well. Cancer and their person spirit. If they could say something to each other now, what would that be? One more. All right. Good to go, Cancer. Let's start your reading. The first card here says... I did not expect you to enter my life when you did. I wasn't ready. I intuitively know that we will unite in divine timing. I'm so afraid. You've left my life forever. It hurts me to the core. I will never love another like I love you. I want you here next to me. I'm so embarrassed over my actions. You have no idea the pain you've caused me. I feared you were more obsessed with me rather than in love. It felt suffocating sometimes. You're perfect in my eyes. Don't ever change. Soon, I plan on returning, hoping it can work this time. I kept the text messages. I was thinking of you last night. I believe we are meant to be together. I never truly moved on, even though I appear so. I should have listened to my intuition. My pride and ego led us astray. This is not the way I wanted things to end. I wish I could go back in time. I wasn't ready for what you were offering. All right, uh, Cancer, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today as a blessing, guidance, advice or a message. 
for cancer and the card I have here for you cancer is sleep well with all the stress and tension and uh, well I guess you guys need to recover first before you take any action maybe some of you are losing sleep uh, cancer make be mindful because that affects your ability to make wise decisions right if you don't sleep well so make sure that you you're resting yourself so person a uh, newcomers I'm, I'm just picking up on two soul energies here okay i don't know which side you're on whether you're a man watching or a woman watching and these are just two souls in front of me how they feel about each other uh, what is the most likely action they'll take towards each other and that's it if this is your reading you'll immediately pick up which side you're on okay so i'm going to first focus on one side then we'll move to the other so person a let's focus on you in your feelings you have the two of wands in reverse what's that two of wands in reverse ah see person a feels person b was just a player they cheated on them they lied to them they were doing sneaky stuff behind their back came in for passion left as quickly and person a says i'm not waiting around for a player anymore i'm 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 like kind of making my own direction now i'm not going to wait around for somebody who's proven over and over time that all they want is sex and passion where are where is the emotion there is no emotion here they are just keeping me emotionally stuck on them but they never open up their emotions they don't love me all they do is lie to me cheat they ghost me they run away they you know so i'm not going to wait around for this character anymore seven of swords seven of swords yeah maybe they were running away from commitment maybe person a is the one who was you know always reaching out hoping that uh, something would uh, you know end up into a long term partnership or a commitment but that person they feel was just a liar and a cheat and kept running away from this commitment and uh, i think person a is kind of given up am i right person a what happened tell me Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, person A feels they were not, never interested. They never came forward. They made a fool out of me. Yeah, they never took that risk to you know leap off that cliff and say let's have a new beginning. Let's have a Ten of Pentacles together. Forget you know uh, all that. They never even apologized to me for the way they behaved, or didn't ever give me any kind of emotional offer. I I feel like a fool now. And so that's the reason, Omkara Taro, I've decided I'm going to get out of this. Enough of, you know, stress and, you know, feeling I'm all alone in a, you know, connection. Uh, where's my partner? I'm always stressed out. I'm always uh, overthinking, trapped in my mind. So I'm, get, I'm cutting these chains off that uh, I'm kind of coming to terms with the fact that this commitment is never going to happen. If they don't want it, I don't want it. I'm going to cut myself free now. Right, person A? Yeah, person A says I'm going to focus on uh, other things in my life. Maybe my job, my career, my finances. Maybe my friends, family. Meet up with new people now. Uh, I'm not going to waste any more time waiting for a commitment from somebody who's clearly not interested. And they all they do is do sneaky stuff, uh, you know behind my back so that doesn't make, give, make me feel strong doesn't make me feel that there's any strength in this connection and that's the reason now I'm going to do right by me I'm going to bring balance and justice back into my own life why do you feel this way okay I've asked that uh, how do you feel about the connection now person A how do you feel about person B how do you feel about the connection uh, high priestess in reverse what's the high priestess in reverse are you listening to your intuition or has some truth come to light one second too many cards you are releasing this connection yes I think person A is listening to their intuition maybe they got to know something about person B when they realize that uh, yeah they're not ready they're just being greedy and selfish and you know chasing after their 
worldly possessions and they're they're never going to be ready to step up and be an equal partner to me who will take responsibility of this connection uh, so you know it's best that i release this connection now omkara taro why should i hold on to something which only depletes me i'm whatever love i have in my heart i'm going to just hide it away now i'm going to put a lid on that cup of love and take it away with me so that i can now give myself self love lovers in reverse i think person person a feels yeah person a is i think i think they've made that decision that if you can't or they could have said it as well with maybe some communication that hey you know if you're not going to offer me an equal give and take not going to give me balance or not going to come together with me never going to give me an offer then i'm stopping or halting this connection person a is now ready to say if you can't give me what i want then i'm done with you because i think person a did love person b a lot but they never got that reciprocity back Okay, so what action person A will take, I'll open later, uh, Cancer, towards person B or otherwise in their own life. But right now, I'm going to go to person B and figure out how they're feeling. So, person B, you have the three of swords in your feelings. Are you the one who's heartbroken now, feeling left out in the cold, feeling left behind? Yeah, person B says, you know what, Omkara Taro, my person has turned their back on me now, and that hurts. that really hurts me because i'm feeling abandoned now right yep they feel they're so scared they're losing out on the best thing in their life they feel they're losing out on their best friend their soulmate their soulmate their you know their forever person somebody who i guess they know was meant for them now without this person is presence in their life they are in lack they are feeling totally left out in the cold abandoned not happy at all heartbroken right person a yeah they feeling stuck they feeling they getting some bad karma for the way they behaved so what did you do person b what did you do that you know your person is now turning their back on you Three of Cups. Okay, so were you having too much of a good time? Yes, they were. Now this is um, Person B, right? The King of Wands in Reverse. Very, very attention seeking. Look at me. Look at me. I have so many options. I can party. I can have a good time with so many people. Uh, you know, look at me. Basically, this is a peacock. king if i may say so they are successful they are good looking they are, are mm, quite successful in their own life and uh, maybe this particular person it could have gone to their head where they felt that uh it's my time to have a great time maybe go out drinking with friends and buddies and maybe treated person a as also one of their friends who were with benefits maybe they had more friends with benefits i don't know something happened here which they are acknowledging yes i was very selfish i i i should have committed i should have committed i always knew that i this was this was my soulmate i let's see hierophant what happened tell me Hi, Rafaant. Okay, so I think, uh, I think what they're trying to tell me is that they knew that person A wanted answers, or uh, maybe person A did ask them, or they did suggest it, or maybe person B always knew that person A wants to know. Are we going to commit? Are we going to be together? Are we going to? I think person B is the one who betrayed them. Person B betrayed the queen, and uh, now they feel that. Now they feel that. Because of that, person A has now set up boundaries. They've taken their power back. They are. They've cut me off. They've ended things with me, and uh, busy healing their own heart, the one that they broke. That's why they're feeling miserable now. So tell me, person B, how do you see the connection now? How do you see person A? How do you feel about the connection? The tower. Okay. 
Okay, what's the tower? I think person, person B is going through that sudden realization that out of all the options that they were entertaining, there was only one that they were meant to be with. Now this person is totally confused, what to do, what to do. I thought I had so many options, but now I'm realizing that there was this one that which was meant to be for the rest of my life. And now the shock that they're going through is that uh, they've destroyed it. They've lost out on their soulmate, their partner, for forever person, the person they should have been together with. Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they, did. they feel they delayed it for so long that uh, now they are feeling rejected. Now they feel, I'm going to be rejected now. They know they broke person A's heart. They know they've broken promises and they delayed making that decision for so long. Now this person is feeling rejected, heartbroken, feeling left out in the cold. They feel the tower has fallen now and uh, now they feel like a loser. They feel like all, all the games I played with person A, eventually I became the loser because now I realize out of all those options that I was having fun with or pretending I had or just, you know, telling person A that I'm not interested, now I realize that they were the one. Now, without their presence in my life, I feel heartbroken, I feel abandoned, I feel lost. Okay, so, I person be also saying that in... Mm, in case I do go and try and uh, renew or make this, try and make this tower back up again with them, uh, they have a little fear of rejection as well now. Because they fe they're feeling that person has become stronger, has taken their power back and healing already. So now there's a bit of fear that, okay, I disrupted this tower, but I do want to rebuild with them. But if I go, then I'm sure I'll be rejected now because of their bad behavior. So let's see what actions you guys will take. Yeah, this person feels they made a very, very foolish and unwise decision. Why didn't I give that offer earlier? Why didn't I go and apologize earlier? Now this, now they feel that, my God, boundaries are up. My person is going to push me away. My person is looking so hot and so confident and, you know, shining wherever they are. And it's like they've made a decision now. They've made a decision which doesn't include me. That's how person B is feeling. So now let's see what actions you guys will take, uh, Cancer. I'm going to take another deck for this one. And while I shuffle these cards, may I request you, remind you, if you could just tap the like button for me, please, Cancer. I've been told it helps the videos to circulate and makes me feel good, basically. And <laughs> newcomers and repeating viewers, so the ones who haven't subscribed already, uh, do subscribe. It's free for you to do so and uh, join our Omkara family. We welcome you in. Thank you. Person A. Action from your end towards person B or otherwise. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Person A doesn't believe that person B can ever come back and give them equal reciprocity or, you know, be that partner where they can have an equal give and take. I think person A is quite disappointed at the moment. Six of Pentacles in reverse, the star. I think person A is healing. Oh, in a very good way, if I may say so. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they feel that person B carries a lot of baggage. They have a lot of ego. They have too much pride. And um, it's best to halt things. I think person A is healing from whatever's happened. They don't believe that person B will ever change. They just feel that person B has got too much of ego and pride. Omkara Tarot, don't tell me they're coming back because they've never shown me anything in the past which has been closely resembling an equal partnership. Uh, they just have too much pride and right now I'm just healing from that. Okay, person B. Well, time to show person A if you want. Uh, what's the action that you're going to take towards person A or otherwise? Nine of Cups in reverse. Person B knows that they've done something wrong. It's They're very unhappy. This person could be 
little indulgent at the moment maybe they're drinking a lot to forget their sorrows but um, very heartbroken and very upset as well they feel now none of my dreams are ever going to come true so are you going to take any action for that this week hermit okay three of cups and the two of cups <laughs> this person listen this person is going through an a uh, 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 spiritual awakening as well they've realized why they are unhappy i think they've been put into some kind of a spiritual prison like look at this person sitting on top of a hill and speaking to their spirit guides right i think they they've also been enlightened to the fact that none of their dreams will ever come true so that's the reason i think this person wants to now return they want to come back they've realized now that person a is that two of cups they've had that awakening they've had that tower they have been shaken up by the universe and been told hey what were you doing this was your soul mate go back to them so this person either could still be in this hermit mode uh, cancer or they could be contemplating maybe returning with maybe just a message or something which was our overall energy so let's see what this is so spirit by the page of wands overall energy is somebody sending out a message now or thinking about it page of wands page of wands king of cups king of pentacles <gasps> ace of pentacles i don't believe this this is a beautiful reading person b is the one who's going through heartbreak now i mean i'm calling it beautiful because you know they say when you realize you've made a mistake and then you can rectify it it's a beautiful thing i'm not saying beautiful because they are hurting but they are realizing the pain they've caused and now it's like mirrored back to them that's when their heart chakra is opening up now this king of cups doesn't have anything in their hands they're like surrender mode they're realizing that i have to now take responsibility this is the person this is my two of cups they will soon be coming with a proper offer proper offer like this is like beautiful energy so that's what i have for you cancer till next time then <laughs> i wasn't ready for what you were offering they're ready now all right love and light take care namaste cancer